This is a review of the new MacBook from Apple that just came out this winter, 2009. For us, we have two MacBook Pros, but this is actually replacing my wife's old G3 MacBook. It doesn't always close, the display wiggles, and the battery doesn't hold the charge. So this is actually a huge upgrade for us from power, battery life, as well as capabilities. One of my favorite new features with the MacBook has to do with the power cord. Apple introduced a couple years ago this great new magnetic design that when plugged in, if someone tripped on it, it would take the power cord, but not your computer. But one of the problems with this is because it stuck out so far that as you worked on it on your lap, it would actually disengage and you wouldn't notice it until you got the warning that you were on reserve power. With the new MacBook, it has a more integrated design. So as you're working away on your lap and it's pushed into your legs, it actually stays connected. A great new feature for this MacBook is the new trackpad. It's got a seamless design, no more visible button, although it is under there. You use a single finger, of course, to move the mouse, two fingers to scroll around a web page, and now you can use the pinch technique, so you can make things smaller, or by spreading your fingers out, make things larger. It really changes the way you surf the web. As far as fit and finish goes, this thing is top notch. It actually reminds me of the old clamshell Mac laptop that they used to have, the way it kind of seals and the seams on it. It's glossy on the top, shows some fingerprints, but probably easier to clean that way. On the bottom, it's a matte finish with some cool little rivet bolts on it. And then on the inside, it's kind of a mixed bag. It has a lot of glossy parts and then some matte finish where you probably want it. So on the outer area here, it's pretty glossy. It shows a lot of fingerprints, but my assumption is that it's easier to clean that way. The trackpad has a matte finish. The keyboard has a matte finish. And then the screen has got a highly gloss. I personally don't know if I'm a big fan of the glossy screen because if you ever use it outside or by a window, you get a lot of reflections, but watching a movie on it, it's pretty dynamic. Probably one of the least used features on these laptops is the Bluetooth connectivity. Of course, you can connect with a wireless keyboard and this really cool new mouse that Apple just came out with, but my favorite part is what it actually does with a cell phone. I can now take pictures of the kids and send it directly to my laptop and then keep it with the rest of my iPhoto collection so all my pictures are kept together. Of course, being an Apple, it's got a lot of great applications right out of the box. But I'm going to show you three that I personally love. This MacBook offers the latest version of iChat. So, of course, you can instant message, use the camera for video conferencing. But the new feature is actually screen sharing. So I sent an invite from another laptop. You accept it. And it gives you full control of the other person's screen. So I can flip through their pictures or review an important business document. It's a great new feature. Another cool app is called Photo Booth. It works just like a photo booth you'd see at a carnival. Just go ahead and take the picture. And it makes fun pictures. The last app I was going to talk about is iPhoto. Now I know iPhoto has been around for a while, but this new feature of face tagging. So, I tagged a picture of my wife, and then what the computer will do is go through all the other pictures and try to match her facial features so that I can go to the cork board and pull up all other images of my wife. So there seems to be two audiences for this type of product. There's the current Mac user that needs an upgrade, either has an older Mac laptop or an older iMac. And the features that this one offers, it's got to make it worth the while. Then there's the PC user that you could probably match the specs of this laptop for about half the price. But I will say the seamless integration of working with a computer that Apple makes the hardware and Apple makes the software, you can't beat that.